G'day, Stephen Kerr from OffTheGridKnives.com with a cooking video, yes. As we try to do, food that won't bloody kill you. See, I dodged the F word. A really miserable sort of day today, clouds, high humidity. I'm sitting here listening to a bit of eagles, making some homegrown food. And I thought we'd show you what we, what we, what I would call actually our potato salad when you're too slack to cook a meal. And we have my lovely assistant here. Hi guys! <laughs> Kerry Ann's actually going to be my assistant because pretty much this is my little piece of disaster. And what we have down here is potato salad, right? Now, down there we have potato that was cooked with a, with a bit of onion, shitload, well actually only a spoonful of garlic, one onion cut into it just to cook it, and then let cool, right? So that's the base for the potato salad. But because most of us, especially the blokes, you know, you don't want to cook a whole meal, so the best thing to do is jam the whole shit and lot into one big pot. One pot wonder, except the summer version. When it's 30 degrees, the evap's going on your little, little solar system like we have going here, and you want to put a one pot wonder together for dinner. So what we have here, very briefly, we have I chopped up half a pepper. We have some, what they, what's that babe? That's our lettuce. Um, celery, lettuce, and silver beet. You need to talk up, babe. Celery, lettuce, and silver beet. Yeah, our greens out the garden. So you have a whole bunch of that green shit that we wouldn't normally use. Now us guys, because we don't like green shit mostly. And we've got half a, half a cut up pepper. We have over here, ah, we know where they came from. Where, babe? From the chookies. <laughs> Chookie food. And what have I got scattered all over the top of that? Oh, well, it looks like salt and pepper to me. <coughs> Lots of salt and pepper. So it's only a, about five eggs, chopped up, or uh, uh, boiled, sorry, boiled, hard boiled, and then a, a bit of salt and pepper put over the top. Don't worry about tomatoes, they're for good looks. All that stuff over there, we'll tell you about that later. <coughs> As he chokes. Anyway, Kerry's going to create this. We're going to keep this short. Okay, show me what you want me to right. do. Right, we need to chuck that shit into the bucket, into the main all bucket. All of it? Yeah, chuck it all in. So the half of pepper and all the greens go into the bucket. Right, right, put that plate down. Now we need, need to make a, I think at this stage we need to put a smulch of that stuff in. The praise mayonnaise, yes. I know, we would like to make, well, and Kerry actually does make her own mayo, but we haven't got it. How much, Steve? Well, I'd go for a, you know, about twice as much as you would normally put in. Oh, yeah, that's about five spoons. I think that's looking good. Right. Now, we got some chilli sauce there. Oh, I'm going for a big smulch. Just one smulch. That's it. Oh, that's a good smulch. Oh, look. This going to taste good. What have we got there? Hang on, show it. Fucking hell. Fucking, fucking thousand more now. We got home, what's it called? Food company garlic. Need a big, a big smulch of that. One teaspoon, one tablespoon. Oh, at that. least two, at least two in that. Okay, grab hold of these buggers over here. Pepper and the salt. Oh, the pepper and the salt? Yeah, yeah, grind a bit of that in. You never have enough pepper and salt, you know. Pepper's really good for the heart, really good for the bloodstream, really good for inflammation. You can't have enough pepper and salt. And the salt is all rock, sea salt, so sea salt, you that's can't right. have enough of that. And what are we, Kerry? We're human batteries. Yeah, and it's all good minerals. So what do we need? We do actually need salt. Stirring profusely, or well, the guys would say just smolting it all together. Yeah, smolting. Right, now what we have here, if you hold that up, we have um, one red onion, one white onion, and over there, just one simple carrot grated up with a whole heap of black stuff on it, which is... Pepper. Pepper, yes. So what do we do with that? We smulch it into the one pot. All looking good, all looking good. So far, so good. We could eat this shit. <laughs> Someone could eat this shit. Are you gonna eat this shit? I'm gonna eat it. We're gonna be eating this shit for about two days while you're going. But right. won't be ready in two days the way I'm going. We'll we'll be eating it in about five bloody seconds. Right. Over here we have the googies. 
that's um, six eggs chopped up, all right? It's no big deal. Not cooked specially, just boiled, you know, until they're hard boiled. Bit of pepper on top, thrown in on top. All right, this is looking good. I'm getting freaking hungry already. You hungry, Kerry? I am, I am. But Kerry, what are we? We're always hungry. Well. We are, with, with home, homegrown, homemade food, we're always hungry. This is food that won't freaking kill you. Okay, that's done. Right, we need a close up. Not looking bad, Look like, looking like a whole lot of stuff smulched together. Is that what you would call stuff smulched together? It is smulched. Do you want you me to sure put some on sure it's smulched enough? Yeah. Oh, I think a bit more smulching. With the elbow in the way, Kerry really shouldn't be involved in videos. Yes, yes, that's looking good. That's a good smulch. Smulching anti-clockwise and clockwise. A really good plan. And then on the plate, the finished plate. Yes. All right. Okay, so basically that plate has homegrown eggs, got one carrot, got a couple of onions in it, got some homegrown greens, bit of garlic, slash of salt and pepper, actually several slashes, a little bit of chili sauce, potatoes, all, all pre-cooked, and you wind up with a salad that you could really just chop a couple of those buggers. You could chop a couple of tomatoes up, whack on the side of that, and that's a freaking meal. Is that a it meal? It is a meal. Are you going to be happy with that? I am. I can't wait to eat it. Right. So, I don't have to leave home? Maybe, if you don't pull your socks up. And Do put I... it together yourself next time. Put it, put it. <laughs> yeah, right. How's it going? Um, don't ask people to do what you wouldn't do yourself. Exactly. So for all you people who get sick over this meal, who's responsible? Stephen. <laughs> no. You smulched it up. Oh. That's right. not very fit. So I'll go find my rock. This is um, potato salad. Maybe Ella, with Stephen. Ella, Stephen and Kerry. Maybe throw a slice of tomato on the side. If you can't remember what I said, bad freaking luck. Watch the video back over again. <laughs> <coughs> I feel sorry for them having to do that. But yeah, a really good one. One pot wonder salad style, all right? And with Hotel California still playing on a very sweaty day, we've actually got... <coughs> Alright, you want to try and make one of these videos and not get a dry one throat. One of these days. One of these days, yes. yes. That's what's playing. So, <coughs> so yeah. Are we going to say what now, babe? Eat well. Be happy. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. And if anyone, it's just for, this is a, the old health department warning, warning. Anyone actually gets sick from this, don't fucking bother to contact us. We'll be in Queensland on our yacht, okay? <laughs> but yeah, that's a salad in a one meal, one pot wonder. And we'll leave it at that, keep it short. And we are what, babe? We're out.